Ben Affleck looks happy and healthy as he spotted in New York with girlfriend Lindsay Shukus after claims Jennifer Garner staged his intervention. Ben Affleck has been doing outpatient rehab in Los Angeles since September. And on Tuesday the Justice League actor 45 was seen taking a break from it all to spend some time with love Lindsay Shukus as the two were seen at JFK Airport. This comes after Yus Weekly claimed his estranged wife Jennifer Garner pretty much saved his life by staging an intervention with his brother Casey Affleck. Affleck, who was in London on Sunday, appeared very happy as he walked with Shukus. He smiled from ear to ear and had a twinkle in his eye. The Argo director wore a grey coat over a royal blue sweater and dark slacks with beige-soled sneakers. The Massachusetts native carried a large bag on his shoulder and helped push a suitcase on wheels. Shukus, who is an Saturday Night Live producer, wore a yellow coat with a black and white scarf adding skinny jeans and white sneakers. The mother of one pulled her hair back into a braid. She too looked happy as can be while in the airport. The couple stopped at Dunkin' Donuts. It appeared as if they got coffee and donuts. The alias actor slipped back into drinking around the time of the Emmys in September. Ben reached a breaking point, a source revealed to Use Weekly. He knew he was spiraling and was unhappy. There wasn't a specific instance that made him check into a facility. It was more of a prevention. People in his life knew he needed a treatment that was more serious than what he was currently getting. The Argo star entered an inpatient 30-day program September 25th. And even though he s dating Shukus, he turned to his ex Garner. Ben told her everything that was going on with his life. He was devastated but knew he had to change, the source said. They have kids Violet, 11, Serafina, 8, and Samuel, 5, together. Jen called Ben's younger brother, Casey, and found him help at a rehab facility in Northern L. A. The source added, after everything they've been through, she is going to continue to be there for him when he needs her. No matter what the circumstances. Even though Jen and Ben are about to finalize their divorce, they still have a bond. From the smoking to drinking and gambling, Jen has always been the person who can get through to him. She keeps Ben in line as much as she can. Jen is a good person, she's an angel. No one ever told her she needs to stick around to help Ben, but she always will. They are both good parents and good people, it was added. He knows he can't get through this all alone. His slip-ups have affected his loved ones, but the good thing is that he's making strides toward recovery. Friends and family have never seen Ben so proactive and serious about wanting to get better. Now Ben is better. He has learned that dealing with his addiction is an ongoing battle. He understands he cannot just wake up one morning and say, OK, we're all done. Treatment is like a job. And checking out after five days was okay. He realized it wasn't the best scenario for him and he was allowed to go. He is now in an outpatient program. As far as why Jen always helps him, the source said she wants her kids to have the best dad possible and Jen knows Ben can be that person. This comes after a flex says the surge of sexual harassment allegations engulfing Hollywood has led him to take a hard look at his own actions. Now he is planning to use a portion of his wealth to help make a change. In an interview on Sunday with the Associated Press promoting the new superhero film Justice League, the flex said he's looking at my own behavior and addressing that and making sure I'm part of the solution. Speaking Sunday, the flex said two things need to happen, that more women need to be pushed to power and that sexual harassment has to also be a men's issue where guys call out inappropriate behavior. In an interview with Fox DC, the Academy Award winner said he will be pledging his future residuals from Weinstein Company and Miramax Films to charities that benefit women. 
The Flex said he was inspired by fellow director Kevin Smith, who announced last month that he will be donating all future residuals from all of his Miramax films, including Clark's Chasing Amy and Jersey Girl, which starred a Fleck, to the non-profit group Women in Films, which supports female filmmakers.